The name of the experiment is laboratory vein test. For the test, undisturbed sample is used and it is molded into a proctor. This handle of the vein apparatus should be turned at the speed of one quarter of a revolution of every 10 seconds. The other handle is used to move the apparatus up and down. By turning the handle at the top of the screw spindle anti-clockwise, lower the vein until it is just in contact with the top of the sample. Then be sure that the vein penetrates the sample by three times its own weight. Then apply a torque to the vein by a steady clockwise rotation. Rotation of the handle having a horizontal axis rotates a graduated disc which is coupled with the top of a helical spring. The lower end of this spring is coupled with the vein shaft and two pointers. The shorter of these pointers reads against the graduated discs and hence register the relative angular motion between top and bottom of the spring. The longer pointer reads against the stationary graduated dial and gives the angular rotation of the vein. The test procedure should be repeated for at least one more point of the sample. Do not forget to take sample of for determining water content. Draw mobilized shear stress versus total deflection of vein rotation and torque versus total spring deflection graphs.